the other thing that I want to show you guys is uh, is, is sunlight display. Uh, so uh, sunlight display uh, it took us some time to figure out how to explain it. Uh, so basically, the idea is when you go outside, right, your eyes close because you put your pupils close because it's very bright, right? So they take in less light. When you're taking in less light, anything that looks a little bit dark is gonna look a lot darker, right? It's, it's like you're making it blacker by taking in less light. So what sunlight display is trying to do is to compensate for your pupils closing. Um, but to compensate for your pupils closing, um, you can't just raise the brightness of the backlight uh, because that would make the white areas too white. Uh, what sunlight display does is it changes every pixel. It changes the contrast or brightness setting of the pixel, not the amount of light, but the pixel. You should think of a pixel as, uh, as basically a, a barrier for light. A black pixel is a complete barrier. No light gets through. So you can't see anything on the other side. That's why it's black. A white pixel is, a, is no barrier. All the light comes through. The back light is white, right? So um, you see the light. A gray pixel is somewhere in the middle. It lets some light through, you know, but not too much light. What sunlight display does is it takes each pixel. If it's a darker pixel, it makes that pixel lighter which means just that pixel will let more light through. So if it's a dark green pixel, it'll make it a lighter green pixel so that it actually lets more light through and then you can actually see it. So what sunlight display tries to do is make you see what you could only see when you were inside. Yeah? And the way to simulate it is to take an image like this one here, which is very dark. Right? It's a very dark image because I wanted to show an extreme example. And then I'll simulate the sun with this flashlight and watch what happens. Right. Oh. <laughs> yes, oh, right. it's quite impressive. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, look at this. Look at the bottom of the screen. Right, look at this. Right? <laughs> okay. Now, why we do this, um, like I said, we're not trying to make images look better artificially. Uh, that's not what we're trying to do. We're just trying to make you see better when you're outside. So the only way to really see this is to take the phone and go outside, right? Uh, and you'll notice um, it's, uh, pretty clearly, you can, you can block the light sensor if you wanna simulate it outside, uh, when you're outside. Um, and it actually works everywhere. It's not just with photos, uh, but it'll work, for example, if you're typing something uh, and if you're using SwiftKey, right? So SwiftKey uses a dark keyboard. So when you're outside, it actually looks very dark and you can't see the lines that separate each of the keys. So it becomes a little bit harder to see and actually a little bit harder to type. So what sunlight display does to the keyboard is it actually makes it lighter so you can see the keys better. You see this? See that? Look at the keys. See? Right, so you can actually see it better outside. And I actually still remember the day when the sunlight display uh, controller code first went into our build. So I received an, uh, an update and it was the first time that I saw it working. I called Donovan because I was outside and all of a sudden like my Swift key keyboard looked so much better and I couldn't quite tell what and then he just told me yeah, <laughs> don't be silly this is just sunlight display at the time it wasn't called sunlight display we, we didn't have a name for it um, so uh, the idea is to just make things look like they should right uh, so this is actually pretty awesome stuff and the benefit of it uh, is that it also saves battery because 
since you're changing every pixel, you don't have to increase the brightness as much. So you actually save some energy. Now, how does this work? Uh, this is done at the hardware level. Uh, it's actually done inside of the custom Qualcomm chipset. Uh, it's a specialized circuit. It's a DSP, a digital signal processor, that only does this, meaning it can do it with very, very little power. If you were to do this with a CPU, oh my God, it would be horrendous, right? It would, it would consume a huge amount of battery. But because it's done at the hardware level, uh, it doesn't consume any additional power. Uh, and it does it in real time. Uh, so when I, you know, when I do this uh, and I show you a, uh, kind of this gradual, it kind of fades, right? It does it purely for UI, you know, beautiful things, right? Because it's actually operating in real time. But we don't want it to just go like this, so we kind of nicely apply it. Um, but it works in real time, so it uses the same frequency of the display, about 60 hertz. Um, so that's the display. We've talked quite a bit about the camera. I would strongly encourage you to try HDR.